Bringing goods from the producer to the consumer is the function of the distributive trades. On today's agenda, the distribution of fresh fruit and vegetables from the grower or the importer to the supermarket's regional distribution center. It is a large and complex operation. By contrast, this farm shop down the road is a small operation. We visit the regional distribution center for a large supermarket chain to find out how the center functions. And Troubleshooter is setting up a subsidiary company, Troubleshooter Courier. But can he handle the logistics of the business? The distribution center at Paddock Wood is home to a number of importers and distributors. Roy Hook is business development director at WRM Cool Chain. The business is like a military operation in its complexity. How does it all work? It's all about logistics. In other words, it's about good organization. Our job is to deliver product to the people, and people are a very vital element in this. The other key elements are vehicles, warehouses, and absolutely vital, good communications. Call chain handles all types of fruit, vegetables, and salads. From the moment we receive the produce to the moment we deliver it to the supermarket depot, it remains in temperature controlled conditions all along the chain, hence the name call chain. We have two types of client. We have the uh, importer, of produce who will bring in fruits and veg from all parts of the world. Some of these importers use our warehouses, our pack houses and distribution vehicles. Some of them have their own warehousing and packing facilities and simply use us for distribution. The second kind of client is the UK grower who grows his own produce and usually packs it on the farm. We deliver to the retailer's depot the RDC, or Regional Distribution Centre, we do not deliver to the high street shops. Emma Sheen is a produce technologist at Thames Fruit across the road from Cool Chain. When a lorry arrives with a load, it backs up onto one of the bays. The door opens automatically and the consignment can be offloaded on pallets using forklift trucks. In this way, the fruit remains in the same temperature-controlled environment and the cool chain isn't broken. Good. Now, let's hear some of that again. First, focus on facts. What kind of produce does cool chain handle? Cool chain handles all types of fruit, vegetables and salads. They handle all kinds of fruit, vegetables, and salads. Together, Roy calls these produce. Next, some more vocabulary. What are the two types of client that Cool Chain serves? We have the uh, importer of produce. The importer of produce? The second kind of client is the UK grower. And the UK grower. Cool Chain offers facilities to the importers. What are these facilities? Some of these importers use our warehouses, our pack houses and distribution vehicles. Warehouses, pack houses and distribution vehicles lorries or trucks. Where do the lorries deliver the produce to? We deliver to the retailer's depot, the RDC or regional distribution centre. We do not deliver to the high street shops. They deliver to the RDC, 
That stands for regional distribution center, not to the high street shops. And what goes on at the warehouse? Some more vocabulary. When a lorry arrives with a load, it backs up onto one of the bays. When a lorry arrives with a load, it backs up onto one of the bays. The bay is the space where the lorry is unloaded. The door opens automatically and the consignment can be offloaded on pallets using forklift trucks. The consignment, that is to say the goods, can be offloaded. That's another word for unloaded on pallets using forklift trucks. And now, a look at language forms. A noun and a past participle together give you this compound adjective. It remains in temperature controlled conditions all along the chain. It remains in temperature controlled conditions all along the chain. Fruit remains in the same temperature controlled environment. In the same temperature controlled environment. Look out for more compound adjectives like this. Morning, Nigel. Have you got my loading knife, please? Kevin Westgard drives a lorry for WRM Cool Chain. He reports for work in the mornings. What is his routine of work? Thank you, did I, Kev? Thank you. Most of what I do is load and go. In other words, I pick up pallets and deliver to the supermarket depots. Christmas is a very busy time. Um, running up to bank holidays is a very busy time, the week before. Also, Easter seems to be a very busy time. And June, July is very busy for the soft fruit season in this country. Alexander Hunt is a grower. His main crops are raspberries and other soft fruit. We here at Boundary Farm are members of Kentish Garden that is a grower-owned cooperative of some 65 members uh, throughout the UK providing soft fruits for the multiples and the wholesale markets. And it is a very professional operation based here at Paddock Wood, close to the farm, where we have a full team that organise all the marketing and distribution for us. We pick here daily and we receive our instructions from the Kentish Garden Marketing Office over fax, phone and our modem link into our computer into the farm office. We react to that on the farm by picking daily into the suitable punnets and trays and pick and pack according to orders and distribute daily. Soft fruit is very delicate and its shelf life is limited and we here at the farm start the cool chain process off by picking and packing in a temperature controlled environment. Let's take a closer look at some of that. First, facts. What are the busy times of the year for the distribution business? Christmas is a very busy time. Um, running up to bank holidays is a very busy time, the week before. Also, Easter seems to be a very busy time. And June, July is very busy for the soft fruit season. Christmas, the week before bank holidays, Easter, and June and July, the soft fruit season. These are the busy times. How does Alexander Hunt market his produce? More facts and vocabulary. We here at Boundary Farm are members of Kentish Garden that is a grower-owned cooperative. They are members of Kentish Gardens, a grower-owned cooperative which markets the produce. Grower-owned is another of those compound adjectives made by linking a noun and a past participle. There's some wordplay here. Two little words together make a useful phrase. We pick and pack 
according to orders and distribute daily. They pick and pack according to orders. You can't keep soft fruit for very long. How does Alexander Hunt talk about that? Soft fruit is very delicate and its shelf life is limited. Its shelf life is limited. The farm shop opens each year in June in time to sell the local fruit, strawberries, cherries, raspberries and other soft fruit. Free-range eggs and honey from the farm are also on sale. Local people can buy their produce here where it is grown. The service is friendly and it's an opportunity to meet friends and have a chat. Should I put the eggs in your basket? Oh, lovely. I want some raspberries at the weekend. Will you have plenty? I'm sure we'll have plenty, but I can certainly put some aside for you if you'd like. That's a good idea. I've got the family coming for the weekend. I've got ten for lunch on Sunday. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Congratulations on your new grandchild. I've just heard. Thank you. It's a boy. We're delighted. Now we've got one of each. <laughs> Congratulations, Mary. Wonderful news. Thank you. And here he is. A few oh, hours oh, old. Lovely. Who do you think he's like? <laughs> oh, I think Jane. <laughs> and Jane's fine, is she? She's fine. She's going home tomorrow. Good. Give her my love. And mine too, and to the proud father. <laughs> Let's take a close-up on some of that. Why does this lady want raspberries at the weekend? Lovely. I've got the family coming for the weekend. I've got ten for lunch on Sunday. Because the family are coming for the weekend and there will be ten for lunch on Sunday. I've just heard. Next, Focus on language forms. Offering congratulations. Congratulations on your new grandchild. Congratulations on your new grandchild. Congratulations, Mary. Wonderful news. Congratulations. Wonderful news. Thank you. And next, asking after somebody's health. And Jane's fine, is she? Isn't he nice? And Jane's fine, is she? Jane, I would think. She's fine. She's going home tomorrow. She's fine. She's going home tomorrow. And sending kind messages. Give her my love then, won't you? She's going home tomorrow. Give her my love. Give her my love. And mine too, and to the proud father. Thank you. And mine, too. And to the proud father. And some wordplay. Pop is a little word you hear frequently. It can mean a lot of things, but it always has the extra meaning of no trouble. Shall I pop the eggs in your basket? Shall I pop the eggs in your basket? One of the customers is hoping to see the owner of the shop. Do you think Mr. Williams is going to be in, dear? I was hoping to see him about a holiday job for my son. I'm not sure. He said he'd be here about ten o'clock. I think he must have been delayed. Do you think he'll be coming in? Shall I wait? Oh, yes, he's definitely coming. Mr. Williams is definitely coming in this morning, isn't he, Rachel? Oh, yes, he's certainly coming in, but I couldn't say exactly when. He should be here quite soon, I think. Hopefully in about half an hour. Would you like these in a tray? Yes, please. We'd like the tray back next time you come. Yes, of course. I won't hang around any longer for Mr Williams. Perhaps you could tell him I'll pop in tomorrow morning. I'll do that. See you soon. Let's 
look at some of that again. Focus on fact. Why did the customer want to see Mr. Williams? I was hoping to see him about a holiday job for my son. She was hoping to see him about a holiday job for her son. Next, focus on language forms, expressing different degrees of certainty and uncertainty. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He's certainly coming in. He's certainly coming in. But I couldn't say exactly when. But I couldn't say exactly when. He should be here quite soon, I think. He should be here quite soon, I think. Hopefully in about half an hour. Hopefully in about half an hour. And some wordplay. Here's that little word, pop, again. Perhaps you could tell him I'll pop in tomorrow morning. Perhaps you could tell him I'll pop in tomorrow morning. Tib and Britain is a large mixed goods distribution centre that is dedicated to servicing just one supermarket chain, J. Sainsbury. Brian Nixon is the general manager and Carol Bushen is the administration clerical supervisor. We are a regional distribution centre that covers the southeast, delivering to 65 Sainsbury stores. The centre is dedicated solely to Sainsbury's. The fleet size we have 75 trailers and 46 units to deliver those goods. The goods are stored in a large warehouse that has a cool storage area for chilled goods as well as an ambient area which stores goods at normal or ambient temperature. The two sections we have within the warehouse are chill and ambient. Chill being a temperature controlled section and the ambient which is the normal everyday temperature. Increasing demand uh, has been put on distribution in the form of line growth by the housewife or the customer in the stores um, demanding more choice. This is increasing line growth um, in the region of about 20% per year. For example, 18 months ago, we only had 2,000 chill lines coming through this operation. We now have 3,500. A sophisticated computer system helps to control the ordering and flow of goods through the system. The computer software is known as Disco. Disco is the software that Sainsbury's use in all their depots. It stands for the distribution within stock control and distribution of goods. There is no paperwork involved at all. It is all done on the computer. What happens is that the goods are received onto the system. The system then produces a barcode label. The label is attached to each pallet as it comes into the warehouse. The operators use the scan guns, which are affixed to their forklift trucks, to scan the barcodes, that sends messages back to the computer, which in turn returns the message onto the screen that the driver has affixed to his truck and gives him information as to where to put that pallet within the warehouse. Customers at the supermarket expect to find the soft fruit of the season as well as a variety of fruit from around the world. The fruit is specially packed 
and the packaging carries a lot of information. The individual packs each have the barcode which the checkout assistant reads with her scanner. On these punnets of strawberries you will find two dates display until and best before. The weight is clearly shown 450 grams. There's the place of origin. This tells you where they were grown. Supermarket standards are very high. This young man is on work experience. Now, this is good news for him because he gets two weeks off school and good news for me because I don't have to pay him anything. <laughs> now, the bad news for him is that I make him work very hard indeed. <laughs> but it's good experience for him, isn't it? <laughs> Now, he's helping me set up my new subsidiary company, Troubleshooter Courier Services. <laughs> Here is my brochure. <laughs> Delivery before midday, anytime, any place. <laughs> now, let's see what he's learnt from me so far, shall we? <clears throat> Boy, complete the following sentence. A courier service is part of a distribution business. Precisely. And our catchphrase is? Uh, good organisation and attention to detail. Very good. He's learning well. Now then, there are four elements in a distribution network. Number one. Uh, items to be delivered. Correct. That is parcels and packets. <laughs> Number two. Uh, vehicles. That is correct again. In this case, we have... Millie, my bicycle, and Molly, my van. <laughs> Number three. Warehousing facility. Correct. A depot. <laughs> In this case, a temporary arrangement, which will do until it rains. <clears throat> and four. Oh, dear. forgotten, have we? Does the phrase up to the minute ring any bells with you? Oh yeah, an up to the minute communications network. Absolutely right. <laughs> you see, working with Troubleshooter is much more fun than being at school, isn't it, eh? <laughs> the business is a bit small, isn't it? It may be small today, but tomorrow, who knows? And, as my old professor used to say... From tiny acorns, mighty oak trees grow. What do you want me to do? You sort the parcels into new piles, you code them, and you prepare them for onward delivery. What? And remember, I guarantee to deliver before midday. So off you go. <laughs> Oh, it's nearly midday. I, I must code the parcels and, and deliver them. Can I help? No, no. No, no. You man the phone. I can do this. Now, now, boy. Oh. Oh. 
Nine. Ten. Eleven. Nine. Ten. Now I've come down here. I must be turning right. Or left. Left. Or right. Or left. Right. Uh, or shall we go left? Right. Left. Left. Uh, or shall we go... Black and co. Ah. Brown, white and brown. And... Black and blue. What a colourful nation we are. You know, I wish I'd never set that midday delivery deadline. I'm terribly sorry, yes. No, he's not here at the moment, yes? Where's that troubleshooter character then? We want our money back! I can't give you your money back. I'm just helping out. Look, I'm doing my best. Oh dear. I know when I'm not wanted, but that young man seems to be coping admirably. I think I'll leave it to him. It'll be good work experience for him, uh, dealing with dissatisfied customers. Oh, That's all for today on the subject of distribution. You will find texts and more explanations in your student's book, together with grammar, exercises and vocabulary. Next week's programme is about exporting and importing. Goodbye, till then.